My name is Ralph Khoury. And I'm Melissa Khoury. We came from the United States, from the state of Connecticut. Well, we were working on a project for a very long time. Uh, Ralph finished a book that it took him a number of years to finish, and I worked a lot on it. So he said I could pick anywhere in the world. So I picked Uzbekistan. This was uh, in payment in Thanksgiving for all the work she had done. So as soon as the book was finished, which was at the end of May, uh, we came to Uzbe Uzbekistan, or soon after that. And I picked it because ever since I was a little girl, I heard about Samarkand and Bukhara and Tashkent. I have to admit, I didn't know about Kiva until just before we were coming. We read on the internet uh, various people saying they had a lot of trouble, even uh, people from Uzbekistan, about getting visas and so on. But we had no trouble. We made all the arrangements and we went to New York City and we got the visa within a half an hour. People were very polite, it was done very quickly. So. I think the only thing I would advise someone else making the trip, we started, we sent uh, Silk Road Destinations, our passport page, about a month in advance. And the, the letter with the visa numbers didn't come back until just before we were leaving. And the consulate in the United States is only open three days a week. So we really got it at the last possible day. So I would suggest for anyone else, start at least six weeks ahead to get the visa. Mm -hmm. But the consulate itself, it was very easy. They were very nice. I was very surprised by, um, I knew Tashkent had been destroyed, a lot of it in the earthquake but how nicely it's rebuilt and how beautiful the city was, was a surprise. Um, how clean and orderly everything is, much better than New York. Um, everybody has been just very nice and, it, and it's been very safe. I, no one annoys you, it's, uh, it's been a very pleasant experience. Yes, I, I was also struck by just how elegant uh, and orderly and uh, attractive the cities are. Not, not just Tashkent. I mean, for example, uh, 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 Samarkand itself, uh, this boulevard that, that it has. Where the universities are. Yeah, where are. the universities are. Uh, this would be the envy of many a city all over the world. It's really quite uh, special. And I think uh, for Americans, but other Westerners, that's an important uh, uh, point to make uh, because a lot of them have the idea that, you know, these, uh, these cities were very drab and gray and, you know, unattractive. And it's not true at all. Uh, it's just the opposite, at least as far as Uzbekistan is concerned. Very nice, nice people. Very, you know, very polite, very civil, but uh, also at the same time, uh, you know, uh, uh, being able to live and let live. Uh, they're not at all awkward with foreigners. They treat them matter-of-factly and very with great civility. It's, it's very, very nice. And I like that when we go to the different sites, almost everyone here is local and they bring the whole family. If you love beautiful architecture uh, and art, you should really make an effort to come. It's, it's worth the visit. I'm. I'm glad we took the time and we spent the money and we finally came here. We went to Kiva first. And that's good because it's like little Uzbekistan. You go, it's small, it's contained, it's yeah. clean, you can't get lost, everything looks nice. You no, know, it's very enjoyable and it's, you know, it's relaxed and you can see everything. And we saw a movie there from 1947 for about free Ali at Sher night? Navoy, uh, which was very interesting. But in terms of sheer beauty of buildings, uh, Samarkand, uh, the mausoleums, really are very, is very special.